Warren Buffett's golden rule about investing is never lose money. His golden rule number two is refer to golden rule number one. Warren Buffett himself is an avid investor in fine wine and where he invests, I pay attention. In a 2020 interview with Forbes, Buffett said, wine offers a safe yet profitable haven for your capital with very low correlation to the stock market. And he's right, of course. Investing in fine wine is a great way to minimize risk to avoid losing money. That's because the demand for top wines has been stable and is extremely likely to remain stable. Plus, in recent years, fine wine and spirits have often outperformed other major asset classes such as stocks and seem relatively immune to market volatility. According to entrepreneur.com, this non-traditional investment has yielded a 13.6% annualized return over the last 15 years. Data from fine wine marketplace LiveX shows that even if you buy at the top of the market, you should at least get your money back if you hold on for five years. My recent interest in investing investing in wine led me to a month-long research project. I spent February 2023 deep diving wine investing along with dozens of alternative investment asset classes. In this recent video, I summarized my research to highlight the top nine alternative investments. In spoiler, wine made the top five. Weeks ago, I made my first wine investment and today I'm here to share how simple it is to invest in wine and everything you need to know to get started. My investment platform of choice was Vint.co. I'll explain how Vint works, why I chose it over other options, give you the pros and cons. Plus, in the end, I'll reveal my investment and final thoughts. Full disclosure, after doing my own research and becoming a user of Vint, I reached out to the company. They agreed to sponsor today's video. That means the link in the description is an affiliate partner link. If you find value from this video and want to use my link to get started, it supports this new YouTube channel and helps me continue making videos. But again, all opinions ahead are my own. Vint even declined my offer to be involved in the content of this review. All right, let's start with the basics. What is Vint? Vint is a platform for fine wine investing that was founded in 2019 by Patrick Sanders and Nick King, two entrepreneurs who want to make fine wine investing accessible to all investors. Using Vint, non-accredited individual investors, probably like yourself, can purchase fractional ownership shares in collections of fine wine from all around the world. So the everyday person like you and me can get exposure to this popular growing alternative asset class. Wine investing is no longer reserved just for the wealthy. Since their initial offering in 2021, Vint has made nearly 60 collections available. Shares start as low as $25 and range up to $100 and there are no annual fees. Vince team handles all the market research, sourcing, and works with world-class storage facilities to keep the assets safe. The company buys, stores, insures, and sells high-end wines, but also whiskey and other spirits. The team includes Adam Papier, I probably mispronounce, as its head of wine who holds a Master of Wine certification. All right, how does it work? Vint's goal is to post new collections every two weeks. Collections contain wines from different parts of the world, and Vint includes a lot of information about each collection, including a breakdown of every bottle and the vintages. Each collection includes an investment thesis that explains the why behind each collection and how the investment could be profitable. As a wine novice myself, I found the resources easy to understand and useful. Plus, Vint has a great blog full of valuable information. Shares do get purchased very quickly, sometimes within hours or even minutes, so you do need to act relatively fast. This might also, though, be proof of a growing user base. So is Vint safe? In short, absolutely. Vint is a legitimate company that is regulated by both the SEC and FINRA with bank-level security. Vint has already purchased over $5 million worth of world-class wine and sold, again, nearly 60 collections. Vint's wine collections are insured and held in secure, climate-controlled facilities all around the world. They go through the storage hassle and pay the expenses so that you don't have to. It is worth noting, since you own shares of wine, you don't own full bottles. However, I can see this as a good thing because this prevents you from drinking your investment for a celebration or just because it's tempting. Okay, here's the fun stuff. How do you as an investor make money? 
Vint targets 10% net annual returns. The holding period is estimated to be one to seven years. Once Vint sells the collection or parts of it, shareholders receive a distribution based on the returns in how many shares they own. If the collection loses money, the disbursement will be smaller than the initial investment. Again, Vint handles all the logistics so that you don't have to decide exactly what to buy or when to sell, which saves you time and money. Vint is relatively new, so it's hard to know what returns will look like going forward, but I did find information on five exits that they've made and the report indicated returns of 28.3%, which is obviously extremely solid. One downside of Vint is that it doesn't have a secondary market where you can sell shares at any time to other investors. You only make money when Vint decides to sell. All right, how does Vint make money? Vint doesn't charge an annual management fee, like I said, or take any commission from the profits. Vint does take a one-time sourcing fee, which is baked into the share price of each collection. The sourcing fee covers the cost of storing and insuring your wine collection and ranges between zero to 35%, according to Vint, though most review sites cited 0.5 to 10%. In essence, Vint reserves a percentage of each collection for itself. This means Vint's goal is to maximize returns, which is aligned with its investors. So the full Vint operation is source, secure, store, then sell. Vint keeps a small amount of profits and distributes the rest to the shareholders. This cycle takes one to seven years. There is one feature I really want to highlight, which is that tax advantage accounts are supported. So in addition to its normal taxable investing accounts, Vint also supports tax advantage investing through a self-directed IRA. If you have a self-directed IRA, you can take shares of your wine collection and place it inside your IRA. Many alternative investing platforms only support taxable accounts. So this is great news if you're investing for retirement and you wanna add wine to your portfolio. You don't pay additional fees to Vint for investing in a self-directed IRA, but companies like Alto, their preferred custodian, do charge 10 to $25 a month. Here's why I chose Vint over VinoVest. VinoVest is the main competitor to Vint in the fine wine investing space. And I'll admit it seems popular and they appear to have invested a lot of money into their brand and website. Plus they have a neat little app here. However, the minimum investment amount is the reason I chose Vint. Vint collection shares are $100 or less, but VinoVest has a minimum of $1,000 for their starter portfolio. And that's mainly because you are actually buying whole bottles, not fractional shares. Since you do own whole bottles with VinoVest, you could technically decide to drink your investment, which actually means you're not investing at all. You're just buying and consuming extremely expensive wine. But with Vint, that temptation is eliminated. Vint wine is also listed on the London International Vinters Exchange. That's that LiveX for short. In contrast, VinoVest doesn't securitize their assets. Yet some people do choose VinoVest because you can sell your wine at any time. However, there is a 3% early liquidation fee if you sell your wine within three years of purchase. So how do you get started with Vint. If Vint feels right for you, it's super easy to get started as long as you're a US citizen. You open a Vint account by providing your name, email address, phone number, and password. And once you verify your email address, you complete a short investor profile. To confirm you're an eligible investor, you enter your US address, date of birth, and social security number, which is all standard for all SEC-backed investing platforms. Once your account is live, you fund your account to make an investment. Vint currently only supports ACH bank transfers. All right, time for some pros and cons. And in terms of pros, there are no annual management fees. Vint is open to non-accredited investors, which is most of us. Vint is an SEC regulated company. Wine shares range from $25 to $100, though it's usually $100. You can invest through a self-directed IRA and it's extremely passive. You just choose your collection, invest in that's it. And here are the potential cons that all investors should consider. There is no secondary marketplace or ability to sell your shares early. There are only a few deals available a month. February this last month had seven total. Shares can sell fast, so you don't have a lot of time to research. It's new, so there's a limited track record. And Vint does charge a one-time sourcing fee between 0.5 and 10%. And there is no mobile app. Plus, of course, all investing poses risk, which can be especially true when it comes to alternative investments. Now for my investment reveal. So my budget for alternatives was $500 last month. So I decided to spread $100 investments across five different platforms in an effort to learn and share my experience 
with you all. After waiting weeks for a new collection to arrive, I pounced on the first one that got posted on February 16th. I received an email in the morning about the collection going live at 1 p.m. PST. At 1.45, I clicked and it was already nearly sold out. In fact, there were only three shares left. I had zero time to research, but I quickly pulled the trigger and I am now the proud owner of one share of this 2019 Rousseau Trinity Burgundy collection. Also posted at 1 p.m. was a Balmore 50 year old whiskey collection, but I later learned it sold out within one minute, which is crazy. Had I known there were going to be five more collections posted over the next 10 days, I may have invested in a different collection like this Cristal Champagne collection, but that's kind of the fun of it. It's exciting when a collection gets posted because you know each collection is very rare and will go quickly because of the quality. The Vint newsletter keeps you in the loop about all things wine investing and their collections past, present, and future, so collection post times aren't a total mystery. So here is the bottom line. If you want to diversify your portfolio and add some downside protection to regular stocks, wine is an appealing asset class to consider. Vint is an innovative platform that offers everyday investors a new way to gain exposure to fine wine. With Vint, you do not need thousands of dollars or a professional wine seller to add wine to your asset mix. The company's approach to wine investing makes it easy for investors with limited funds to get access to this growing, exciting asset class. So with all that said, what do you think of Vint or investing in wine in general? Do you have any questions for me about wine investing or Vint as a platform? Drop them in the comments. If so, I do my best to reply to everybody. Once again, my affiliate link is in the description below and pinned as a top comment. It costs you nothing extra to sign up, but it does help me and the channel out tremendously. Feel free to use that if I provided you value today, but zero pressure. I was actually going to make this video with or without that referral link. Subscribe if you're excited about building passive income streams because my mission is to show you how. And if you want to explore my other favorite alternative investment platform, watch this video next. It's all about investing in collectibles and how to do so with Rally. I had a ton of fun exploring all the options on the platform and I think you will as well. Have an awesome week or weekend ahead and I'll see you next week on the next one when I start my new passive income 30 day challenge. Thanks.